Moz, that corner, that's something I've got to pick up on. But the rest of the game, I thought we were really good, really good. Um, I thought that we've caused Norwich a few problems there. Uh, we didn't hit the target as much as I'd want to, but um, we definitely had chances to. And uh, and that's the difference, really. And I, I don't think they've hit the target too many times, but uh, it was uh, it was a cagey game. And uh, for somebody who's 24 places ahead of us, uh, I thought we quitted ourselves very well. Uh, and gain a little bit of respect from uh, from Norwich. Although Daniel Farker has has you know he has the utmost respect for us, and and I hold hold him in very high regard. I, I hope he gets promoted just because of him and the way he is. I think he's a fantastic guy, um, and um, and he has a good team. And uh, you made five subs all at the same go. I mean, what was the thinking behind that? Well, to change the game, to change the the uh, dynamics of the game, and I thought it worked. I thought we uh, we went to the high press. Which uh, you know you can't play from the start. You, you just I've seen Norwich tear apart um, some teams who've tried to press high against them, really tear them apart. And the space, if you concede space behind your back four, you know Tim Puki just exploits that like you wouldn't believe. And there was a couple of times he got in today, but not many because we did it really well. That's their big weapon, and uh, and I thought we handled that well. But they have quality all over the pitch, and. Uh, and like I said, the, uh, the the goal they scored, it's a deflection off Josh Knight. It's unfortunate. It took that to beat David Stockdale. The second one's very disappointing for me. But, uh, you know, I don't want to talk about disappointment. I want to talk about how Wickham Wonders playing top of the championship have uh, really give them a little bit uh, of something to think about. And, uh, OK, it's 2-0. Everyone looks at it too. Yeah, that was the that was that was expected. Um, I'm hoping people watched the game and thought, Do you know what, it wasn't probably a two 0 It was uh, closer than that. And finally, for me, guys, and how happy are you that Joe Jacobson is now back playing after a couple of weeks out with an injury? Yeah, I mean he's great, uh, but Jordan Abit has just been as good. So I have, I have. Uh, I think that's testament to where this club has come now. Joe Jacobson hasn't hasn't had a challenge for six years really at left back not a, not a, an experienced player somebody who could go toe to toe with him I think Jordan is that and that shows where we are I've got Jason and, and Jack at right back I've got centre halves challenging each other and, and midfielders we have a good squad um, the plan that Rob Keurig and Pete Keurig are putting in place for this club are championship future looking at the championship if I can keep them up this year brilliant um, and if not we are we are going to be back here and that's that's uh that's something. That's our long-term plan, and we want to. I want to be a part of that, and and, and it's so exciting to see um, and to speak about Wickham Wanderers and Championship in the same sentence. It's it's crazy sometimes, but I absolutely love it, and can't wait for the uh, the long-term plans to come up. Believe me, they will.